What's up everyone, this is Tuba Solo coming at you. Well, it's collaboration time. About a month ago, John Kelly from JK's Hiking asked me to participate in a late summer, early fall loadout backpacking gear vid. This collaboration will include myself, John Kelly from JK's Hiking, Jeremiah Stringer from Jeremiah Stringer Hikes, and none other than Dan Becker from Dan Becker Outdoors. Dude, I was super stoked and super honored to be asked to participate. John is a down-to-earth person who's a beginning backpacker. His videos are well-produced, easy to follow, and easy to relate to. Jeremiah is also another down-to-earth cat who's a good old Southern boy. He starts talking and you can't help but smile. He cranks out big miles and puts out some super fun content. And lastly, Dan Becker. Now if you've been watching YouTube lately, you've probably already heard of him and maybe even seen a few of his vids. Dan's super high energy, awesome video production and knowledge makes him one of the most fun channels to watch. And if you're new here, my name is Steve and this channel is all about hiking, backpacking and enjoying the outdoors in Southern California and beyond. After you check out my loadout video coming up here next, make sure to check out the description below for the links to the partner videos in this collaboration. Check them out and while you're there, make sure you subscribe to John, Jeremiah and Dan. Now let's get into this loadout video. Right here I have got my kit that I uh, can use for either overnighters or multi-day adventures. Uh, right now it's uh, the next adventure that I'm going to be going on is a multi-day mini through hike of the San Gorgonio Wilderness and it's pretty much set up um, for that purpose. I have a number of packs that I use uh, in general but for this particular one I'm going to be using the Z-Packs Arc Hall. Um, since we're doing you know a um, mini through definitely want to be as light as I can. This is by far the lightest pack that I have. Good thing is, is that we're going to have plenty of water where we're going to be going. And um, I don't have to necessarily pull out the heavy hauler, the ULA catalyst for this one. Not that this couldn't handle it, but it just seems like the ULA catalyst is, is better suited for, for long water hauls and uh, stuff like that. But let's go ahead and jump right in. We'll go ahead and start with the outside. Hands down, one of my favorite pieces of gear right here. Um, I used to use the, uh, the butt pad um, the Z seat, my thermo rest, but then um, my buddy Matt, he basically cut one of his Z light pads up, made it a lot bigger, and now it's basically just a piece of Z light that I use for, um, in lieu of the uh, uh, of the Z seat that I used to use. And I love this piece of gear. This hands down is my favorite piece of gear. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Right here, okay. On the outside of my pack, I have uh, a mishmash of things out here. Start off with my first aid kit. Uh, this is the uh, Trichology pillow. I kind of mentioned this in the week before in the video that um, I'm going to be trying a new pillow. I'm going to try the Trichology pillow. I don't have very high hopes for it, but we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and give it a shot and see how how well it works. You never know. But I'm going to be bringing that one this time. Um, these are my tent stakes and cord that I always bring. I use MSR Groundhogs. Um, for California's really loose soil, I found that full-size MSR groundhogs are by far the best option. I also bring cord with me every single time, just in case I need to um, stake with rocks. And believe it or not, in Southern California, I've had to stake with rocks a lot more than I thought I would. A lot of high elevation stuff, the, the ground is just not, um, not deep enough. And um, even last time I went to San Gorgonio, where we stayed at the top, I pretty much set up the entire um, Six Moon Design Trekker that I had with me. I did it all with rocks. So it's good that I had that cord with me. So that's a standard that comes on every single trip. Um, next over here is my water processing. I use a Sawyer squeeze, and then I have a couple of uh, two liter um, water bottles. I guess you can call them those bigger, um, those bigger water bottles made by Evernew. Seems like everybody's using those things. Um, just depending on the amount of capacity that I need, I may bring one or both. Uh, in this particular uh, next one, I'm probably just going to bring one of them, but I have both of them in here because typically I have this all together. But yeah, it just depends on the, the adventure. Sometimes I may bring both, sometimes I may bring one. But yeah, I use a, uh, a Sawyer Mini, or rather a Sawyer Micro, and that so far has worked out great for me. Um, next, I have my poop kit. Uh, my, uh, uh, which I'm called my shovel, is from Lawson. Um, I don't think he sells these anymore, so I picked this up a long time ago from Lawson. I'm glad I did because I love this shovel. It's certainly sturdy. It's got rounded off uh, edges and just easy to use um, as far as a trowel. And then um, for my shelter, uh, this is the, the center pole for my shelter. Um, I'm going to be using I'm going to be using the Z-Packs um, or, or rather the Z-Packs Altiplex on this one. 
and um, I don't know. I may use the Z, uh, the, uh, the duplex, but right now I'm I'm looking at bringing the uh, the Altiplex, and the Altiplex has a center pole. I have a center pole. I got it before they stopped selling the uh, center poles, but um, it should work out pretty great. The Altiplex I've taken on another, I guess you can call it a mini through hike when I did the Catalina Trail, worked flawlessly for me. Oh, Delta. Almost. <clears throat> so continuing on, the last thing that I usually keep on the outside over here is my spoon. Um, I know this this one is not typically typically the spoon that I've had in the past, but um, yeah, I don't even know what this one is. GSI Outdoors. I think I saw it at REI, and I scooped it up because I had some REI money. Figured it was just you know something to try out. It's worked out fine. Uh, it's either this or the lexicon spoon that I'm going to bring with me, but this seems to be working out just fine. And I wanted to um, <clears throat> kind of focus on these two outer pockets. What I really dig about these two outer pockets here, and I especially love about the Arc Hall, is that it allows me to keep my cook kit on the outside of my pack, so it's not taking up space on the inside. So on these two side pockets, typically what I do is I keep my, my cook kit on one side, right there, and then over here, is where I keep my gloves, my beanie, and right now I have, um, I think my buff in here too, maybe? No, just my gloves and my, uh, my gloves and my beanie, but many times I'll keep my buff or my wind um, shirt over here, so when we stop, it's just an easy way to kind of, kind of get layered up. And then, yeah, on the other, on the other side, I keep my, my uh, cook kit. And for this one, I'm just going to be doing mountain houses, so I'm going to be doing a snow peak with the, with the uh, Amica stove. And that's that thing right there. But yeah, I love the functionality of the arc hall that it has this thing. I wish more packs had these two pockets on the outside. They're very helpful. Uh, other things on the outside of the pack. Other things I keep on the outside of the pack, I have my uh, Garmin inReach. Uh, I usually keep it off unless I actually need it or use it. That way I can save battery. And then in here, I typically will put like sunglasses and my cell phone. Um, it's one of those Justin Anderson water bottle pockets, but it's uh, made for the uh, the smaller, the 7, uh, 750 uh, water bottles, but I use it as a place to keep my sunglasses and a place to keep my phone. On the other side, I got my Peak Design Clip. This is where I carry my, uh, my um, rather not my backpack, I carry my camera on my backpack. I carry it on my chest so it's easy access. And then I also have a Peak Design Clip on my tripod that I carry and it just makes it easy to be able to move right from um, the Peak Design clip on my chest to the Peak Design clip on my tripod. And I can vlog or set up the tripod and get that all set up quickly. And it secures the camera real fast. But just know that only the V2 Peak Design clip can do this, can actually attach itself to a plate and be placed into a tripod. The, uh, this one doesn't do it. But, um, oh, another, another quick thing on this, the way I carry this, is actually I carry it like the uh, stow on the go um, uh, trekking pole thing that Osprey's got going. Basically, I just carry this under my my arm as I'm walking. I have it hooked into into the pack with some cord, essentially right here. It hooks in, and then there's another piece of cord down here that I place that, and then it just hangs down as I walk, and it doesn't get in the way or anything. That's been a very easy way to carry it. So that takes care of that. On the outer hip belts, um, I do love the, Z the hip belts on the Z-Packs are tall. They're massive. On one side, I keep, typically will carry just salves and various things. Like I got my key to tighten the plate if it gets loose on my camera. I always carry a Sharpie for signing into books. And then I've um, got some uh, sunblock, lip balm, um, Purell and finally what I use to clean my camera lenses is just a it's just like a little um, I don't know a little wipe that is protected in this in this um, neoprene cover just push into there and then 
tighten it down. And that's what I use for my camera lenses. All right, so that takes care of that. And then one other pocket over here, this is typically where I keep some other doodads. Um, here's my buff um, that usually will go up in the upper pocket. Um, I have a head net uh, for insects just in case. And I got my, um, I've got my uh, headlamp here, the Nightcore. I've been using that. Um, really enjoy it so far. And then the Thermarest uh, Neo Air Pump. Something happened to the door, it broke, so I put tape on here. And every time I got to change the batteries, I got to pull all this tape off. But um, yeah, it's been working fine. I love this, love this piece of gear right here. Getting down into the last parts here when we enter the main compartment of the bag. What I traditionally do is I, I will keep my um, rain jacket on top just for quick access or if we stop and the wind shirt is not enough I could always add this other layer on there which makes life a little bit easier. Um, usually for quick deployment I always always will keep my shelter on top. Again this is a Z-Pax Altiplex. This also has a ground sheet in there. The uh, Altiplex by itself is 16 and a half ounces. 16 and a half ounces and the ground sheet is another couple ounces so really for about 18 and a half ounces I'm covered um, with my shelter and ground sheet. Uh, on the outer portion over here this is where I keep my Thermarest Neo Air. Been using that for a couple years, really enjoy this pad. And then over here lately I've been using a NURSAC with, a, with an OPSAC uh, on the inside. And yeah, it's got a little bit of food in there but that's going to be packed up for my couple days and I'm going to be out. But yeah, I've been using the Ursac lately and it's worked out tremendously well for me. And on the inside, even though I know the pack is very well waterproof, I still use a DCF uh, a liner bag that keeps all my clothes and my, uh, my sleeping bag in. So on top, I typically will use my layers here. I got my Torre de Pix pants, my 32 degree heat uh, tights. Those are great, by the way. And I've got my wind shirt and my wind pants from Enlightened Equipment, and then my Torrid Apex jacket. That's the layering I'm going to be doing this time. It won't be too terribly cold, so that should be more than adequate, let's hope. Then on the inside, I always have an extra pair of socks. I always like to sleep with socks that are clean, so I usually will bring an extra pair of socks. And then down at the bottom of that, I have my Enlightened Equipment um, my Enlightened Equipment uh, quilt. And that's pretty much how it all comes together. That's my, uh, my loadout for my next trip coming up here in a couple days, going in the San Gregorio uh, wilderness, go from one side to the other. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below. And if you're not a subscriber, click on the subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification every time I post a video. Until next time, take care.